so this morning i look i didn't even finish off yesterday evening um you know like recap video because i was so exhausted so anyway this morning uh this morning we are making our way to the christmas street so we dropped off our luggage at, at a drop point and now we're just walking to yeah the christmas streets so i'm really excited to see what's there after that there is a church that's dedicated to you know all the souls in purgatory that i would like to go and see so hopefully we can find that one and it's opened and then after that hopefully we have enough time to go on a food tour so neapolitan food tour so i'm really excited about that also so good stuff happening today on our last day here in naples So I've just uh, walked up and down the Christmas street and some of the other side streets and stuff near it. And um, it's super, super busy, super crowded, but really cool. Um, remembering this is low season, uh, just after the new year. So I can just imagine what it'd be like during, actually, I don't even want to imagine what it'd be like during high season. Um, I like to avoid crowds. So, um, but really cool. If you want to build your own nativity set or Christmas scene, uh, this is the place to go. This is, yeah, they've got all the stuff. Um, also, there's a lot of chili, chili uh, souvenirs and things you can buy. So, yeah, super fun. Okay, so the next place I'm going to is Santa Maria della Anime. Uh, it's it's a church dedicated to the uh, souls in purgatory. So it is built in the 17th century. Um, it is meant to be beautiful so i'm really looking forward to going in and having a look and yeah I, i'm really enjoying this part of naples i think unfortunately i didn't uh, research enough into some of the background um and i think there might have been some really interesting tours to come and see here uh to see some other things here so that's okay uh, i was gonna say there's always next time but there probably won't be <laughs> church was super fascinating and uh, there were locations where you couldn't take photos or videos which is fine be respectful of that but it was yeah it was really uh, somber and sobering I guess you can say so really loud here it's so busy today in Naples uh, I guess everyone's back and all the shops are open again after the holidays so uh, we were meant to have our food tour at 12 and I checked my emails and they have postponed it until 2 so in the meantime, um, we're just switching things around and we are going to go and check out uh, Castle Nuovo, Nuovo, Nuovo um, first and then we'll go on the food tour. So I'm really excited for the food tour um, and I'm also pretty excited to sit so, actually, but we are on a bit of a time limit because we did take our time wandering down, looking in shops and just, you know, just generally soaking up the atmosphere. So it's been great. Um, but yeah, off to the castle before the food tour. Castle Nuovo and it did cost five euro to come in um, but not to do the tour. The reason for not doing the tour is because uh, we do have our food tour to go on. So we are just going to have a quick stop here about half an hour we've got and um, just to see the highlights we the ticket does include the museum, this room here and another room somewhere. Anyway 
I'm sure we'll find out. Um, but yeah, it'll be a speedy trip through here, but I'm sure it'll be beautiful and worth it anyway. Okay, so we've just finished at the castle, Castle Nuovo. It was okay. Um, we didn't go up into the museum part and because we've got to go, we did see some of the paintings and we saw some of the rooms, um, but there, there wasn't a great deal to see. So, which is okay, um, that's fine. And the other thing too is that I think, I feel that the doors only open at a certain time to allow people to buy tickets um, and then uh, they close again. Because when we were coming out, uh, the doors to the place where you buy the tickets were shut and people were kind of being turned away. Um, so I think, yeah, it's, I don't know if it's to, to regulate the number of visitors that go through or if it's something else. Um, so just, you might want to check the times. You, you, I don't think you can just rock up here and, and get a ticket and go in. So one of the other things too is the reason why we didn't go on the tour was because um, not only did we not have enough time, the English tour was cancelled for today because there was such a high volume of uh, Italian visitors, which is fine, uh, absolutely fine. Um, it's, we still probably could have really done it uh, and gone and seen the dungeons and whatnot, but we wouldn't have really learned anything for that extra time we would have spent doing that. So um, yeah, we're going to head up now back to into the busy part of the city and to get some food i'm so excited for this street tour like it's gonna be i, I feel I, I hope i'm not hyping it up too much but i feel like it's going to be uh one of the uh really fun things that i look back and really um enjoy doing on this trip shop where you can find many products shared from the land was born because as you can, as you know as you probably know there are different types of pizza in this city you know on our food tour and um this wasn't part of the tour but we were stopped at a pizza place and this is a fried pizza and it's got ricotta in it and it is amazing it's simply delicious and i just yeah oh my goodness it's i, I can't even begin to describe the the texture and the flavour, it's so good. After the food tour has finished, we make our way back to the bag drop so we can grab our luggage and head on to our next destination. I cannot wait for this next location. We are going to Rome. But before we get there, Naples, I just want to say how incredible you were. It was an amazing experience to be able to explore the city and Pompeii and it was just really, really fantastic. Thanks Naples, you've been great. <laughs>